All right, guys, this is the next tutorial in my new Swift tutorial series. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the code. And now we're going to talk about different data types. So let's maximize this here. And we're in the playground. So um, right here, the first line of code here is a comment. If you guys uh, are familiar with other programming languages, like Objective-C or Java, and a lot of others, two forward slashes, and everything after the two forward slashes on a line is a comment. So that's a comment, and the comments are green. Now here is a import coca. I'm gonna talk more about that in another class. But here uh, is a variable. Let's just delete this and let's start from scratch. The cool thing about uh, Swift programming is that uh, you don't need to create any classes or anything like that. It, basically, every line of code is like a little program that takes care of itself. You don't need to worry about uh, delegating memory, releasing memory, declaring data types, all that type of stuff. It does it for you, and it's really easy. Now, let's talk about some different data types and how to declare variables. So, we, we declare a variable by typing in the AR, right? That's how we initialize a variable, we hit space, we give our variable a name. We could call it whatever we want. If you guys have been following any of my other tutorials, you know I like to use colors as variable names, so I'm gonna type in red, hit space. Now, um, now we gotta make it equal to something, so let's make it equal to a string. So we're gonna need a set of double quotes, so two double quotes, right? Now inside the two double quotes, we're gonna type in a message, I'll type in Hello world, right? Now, as you see on the right side here, it printed out hello world. Now it knows that this is a string because we used the set of double quotes and it automatically knew it was a string. We didn't need to do anything else. And as you could see, we didn't need to add a semicolon. With Swift program, you don't need to add semicolons. So I thought that was pretty cool. Now, how do we declare a uh, integer? you know, INT. But first off, there's a second way we can declare a, um, we can declare this as being a string. We can delete VAR, right? So we can say red, then we can say colon, then the data type, which is a string, S-T-R-I-N-G, right? So that's another way we can do this. So red, or the variable name, colon, the data type equal to the string. So let's just delete this. Now let's talk about um, integers. So again, we're gonna use VAR. That's how we declare a variable. Hit space, we gotta give our variable a name. I'm gonna call it red again. And I wanna make it equal to, let's say, five. Now, it printed out five here automatically. It knows that this is a uh, integer because uh, it is a whole number and it has no decimal point and it doesn't have any uh, double quotes or single quotes so it knows it is the integer and it automatically does everything for you again and no semicolon so i thought that was cool so how do we turn this into a double right we can turn this into a double just by adding the uh dot five like a decimal point now it automatically initializes as a double it allocates the memory, does everything for you. You don't need to do anything extra, like uh, declare it as a double, free up more memory, blah, blah, blah. All, all we have to do is use this variable data type or this variable uh, code. And after this variable code, we give our variable a name, then we make it equal to whatever value you want. If you want it as a string again, we use a set of double quotes. If you want it a, a integer, we, we will add a whole number. If we wanted a double, we would just give it a double without any single or double quotes, and it automatically does everything for you, and we don't need to add any semicolons. And the beauty about uh, Swift is that we don't need any classes. It automatically recognizes everything for you. All right, so that's pretty much it for this class. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RasmerTech.com, and thanks for watching.